Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous Podcast. Today is Book Club Day, and we are going to be talking about Krieg. But before we do, if you enjoy today's episode, head on over to patreon.com slash Ridiculous, where you can get access to the Discord, bloopers if they happen, HD posters, it's a nya nya Katie and Catboy. Uh, it's great! Patreon.com slash Ridiculous. Bricky, tell the people about amazing merch at orchid8.com and um well, i guess since today's the book club like do we know what our next book is gonna be uh i i think shy knows what it is i actually don't know the name of it but shy will tell us later uh oh, but yeah you no, can wait, go never mind i know never yeah sorry okay then you're good um orchid8.com in the in the merch the, the merch is in the merch it's a, it, it's a, it's about the merch baby it's all about um, the merch baby that's that's an old one uh, yeah, merch down there, orchid8.com, check it out, the usual type of thing. Um, and then we'll do a club later, because we're doing a club now! Hey! Um, also, if you can't tell from my voice, I, I currently have COVID. This is oh. one of the reasons this book club has taken so long, is because I left for Boston for a while and then came back with COVID. So, yeah. sorry. I'm doing my best right now, I'm just a little nasally. I, I hear you're not the only one that came back from PAX with COVID. I hear there were quite a few cases that just... Yeah, basically everyone I know PAX. got COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, you know what? I was planning on TwitchCon. Now I'm not. <laughs> now I'm not. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, I got I got my vaccines and all that. And uh, it feels like a, a shitty, like, like, a, like a very light flu slash tough cold. Doesn't feel yeah. like there's always like a con crud you get afterwards, right? But oh, sure, sure. There's always con flu. Yeah, yeah. It feels like con flu. I, I mean, oh. you know, I, I, you know, like I'm all stuff and like stuff like that. But I know some people who who got it that weren't weren't fully up on their on their shots, and they are having a Ugh. bad time. They are oh, not man, feeling that good. Is, that is like unfortunate. Like 103 fevers plus and shit. Like it's bad. Ow, ow, yeah, that's no fun. Ow. ow. Anyway, Yikes. speaking of uh, speaking of massive collateral damage, let's talk about our book. Yeah, and and <laughs> speaking of uh, always make sure to wear your masks, right? Hey, hey, eh? hey, good, it's uh, Krieg. good sight. Dean Kamen, I'm so proud of you. Let's go. It's Krieg. It's, it's Krieg. Krieg. It's Krieg by Steve Lyons. Uh, released was it April this year? No, wow, it must have been that earlier. Recently, huh? No, no, I forgot. We're still in April. I'm stupid. Um, like February, May, March. Okay. This year though, like, damn. Oh, it was, I, okay. I think it just came out when we were finishing up our last book, which uh, that was Rain, right? Yes, I want to say yes, yes, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. I think it was twice that King Rain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Krieg, the uh, the story. Of Krieg, the actual book, very uh, book version of the um, the Krieg story, basically. Yeah. Like the, I think, I think, because we kind of know what happened, but I don't know if we have like a legitimate book going through the entirety of mm -hmm. how it happened, and uh, and that's what we got. Yeah. So, not my favorite book, but. I don't know if it's, like, because we did, like, a full-ass episode on Krieg. So, like, we knew what was going to happen. Like, we we knew about the Yurdy Purgy and the all purgy. that. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I feel like I went into this maybe expecting not necessarily, like... Because it almost felt like a historical documentation of what happened on Krieg and what happened <clears throat> on um uh shit what was the what was the current time hive call oh. that was getting invaded by orcs um i don't i don't remember the name of it but i know it's in the octarius war so it's like current yeah. time situations yeah it was in the octarius war and like whenever they went to the octarius war it felt like it really started to drag like you would just get <clears throat> man you're killing my voice today um but yeah, it would just like you would get this big battle with like uh, the Imperium and the Orcs, and it would just drag on for like an entire chapter, and it just, and you only got it from like the Imperium perspective, and it just felt like it just really dragged on. 
And, like, I get it because you need to have, like, here's what the Krieg are now. Here's what they were when Yurdy was here. And here's how much they contrast. And it just, I don't know, it felt like it dragged, like, way too much when they went back to, like, Octarius wartime. So we were talking about this before the episode. Um, it seems that there's a lot of people who really like this book. And mm -hmm. that's great. Very pleased that everyone is, is enjoying it and getting some Krieg representation out there. Everyone likes their Krieg. Everyone loves their Krieg voice. Shovels. Um, shovels. Me and, and DK are not those people. No. Uh, I, think, I think both of us are a bit lukewarm on this book. Yeah. Um, and it's, uh, I think you, you mentioned it earlier. It sounded like a historical documentation. That's kind of how I felt reading this book is I felt like I was reading a history book. Yeah. And, and the history book that like, okay, the standout of the book is Colonel Yurden. He's, oh, he's the best part of yeah. the book. Not even question that I, yeah. I literally had a hard time remembering the names of the other side characters. <laughs> I, I know, I, I know of Yurden's daughter. Yep. Yep. Um, there's the Cadian chick. Uh, and then Van Bruin, he's the Inquisitor, right? Yeah, Van, Van Buren is the Inquisitor. Rennick is the Cadian, as uh, the female Cadian guard captain. Captain? Yeah. There's um, like the Cadian general as well who's around, and he's kind of like, ooh, these Kriegmen are all up in my shits. Yeah, and it was Kraus that took over after the uh, big traitor dude. Uh, died the one that was like hey guess what krieg is seceding from the imperium because fuck them they don't deserve imperial tithes um yeah right so it's, it's not right it's not like that so it, it it felt like so i agree that um that the the more exciting so the book flashed between two perspectives um there is the perspective back in the day of basically like how krieg became krieg and then there's the modern day perspective Mm -hmm. And the purpose of the modern day perspective is clear. It's all right. This is how Krieg became Krieg. And then this is how people react to Krieg. Ah, like, yeah, what yeah. are they like in a war scenario? What, how do they fight? How are they as an mm -hmm. army? Um, and the weird off putting that they create from all the people around them. Cause the Cadians yeah. don't like them cause they're weird. They are very weird. Uh, don't the Cadians also not like them because like, um, don't the Cadians feel a little like, oh, well, they're willing Upstaged. to die for this? Like, what the fuck? I'm a Cadian guard. I'm supposed to be the big bad. What do you mean they're willing to die? They can't be willing to die. I'm the best. And, they, yeah, they feel a little upstaged because of just how, like, crazy determined the, the Krieg are. And they're they're absolutely willing to die for, for the Imperium because, you know, the history of their planet is uh, a little heretical. A, li a little heretical. Um, yep. I think that's one of the big misses. Um, there, there are two big parts. Okay, well, there's a lot. There's a lot of parts in the book that I'm, I'm not a huge fan on. Um, I, I think the book gets, it hits its stride early on. Um, I think its best parts are during and right after the secession. Um, uh, mm -hmm. which did, did you did you somewhat listen to the fat aristocrat and kind of like agree with him a little bit? Oh, when he was describing, like, why he wanted to, like, leave the Imperium and how it's like, oh, they're just taking our children and instead of them growing up and living their dreams, they have to go and die for, for the Emperor who we never see or hear from. Like, he's a greedy, he's like a greedy, like, overweight kind of classic trope, aristocrat kind of guy. Yep. But he's kind of right. Yeah, you know, when he was first describing it, I was like, I mean, he's not wrong it, like, it's not the not... worst concept no yeah it's just unfortunately you're in the imperium you can't yeah, think yeah. like that in like, the imperium sucks you're about to get nuked have yeah. fun yeah so yeah i, yeah, he, I, I, I felt did like... find myself strangely being like man that makes a little bit of sense actually i mm, why am i agreeing the... with him i'm not supposed to well, I think we are supposed to because the Imperium are fucking awful. That's fair. The Imperium are terrible. I, I yeah. think they could have ran that angle a little bit more because... Mm -hmm. Okay, so like, I, I, I've been doing a lot of RTS gameplay lately and I've been mm -hmm. getting really bad into Command and Conquer Kane's Wrath again. It's so <laughs> goddamn good. Um, but 
but there's a, oh that's red alert three sir oh damn it still a great one i don't one. play rts's damn it still it's always a good um, time for that reference so the the evil one of the evil factions the brotherhood of nod there's a unit you can create called fanatics and they are literally suicide bombers oh. they they come out and they say because kane is their big leader so they literally say our lives for kane and they run it you would explode they do a fuckload of damage um and they're very cheap to produce and you know it's, it's what it is yeah. and it's like i kind of wish krieg was seen more like that like i uh, i mean obviously the protagonist here and, and like you colonel yurden is our protagonist oh but man 100%. he's he's a fucking zealot oh my god oh yes um i i was kind of surprised with how much of like uh an imperial emperor imperium zealot he actually was like he if if you even have the slightest doubt in the emperor he is probably going to kill you he he has consistently taken <laughs> anyone who was even like sharing the same room as the big aristocrat guy and he lined them up with bags over their heads and shot them yeah he is a like i i was expecting i, I wasn't quite expecting i'm not sure why i mean i guess it's 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 40k if you are uh extraordinarily zealotous uh belief in in the emperor you're gonna be like that. Like you're not gonna be a great person. You're gonna be this sort of staunch kill anyone that doesn't agree with the emperor kind of guy. So I guess I shouldn't be terribly surprised. But yeah, he was. He, he's a he's a rough one. And uh, yeah. and the, the thing is, and I think that's the problem that reaches into the the book is I I don't think they play it enough. I think the the book kind of gets this idea where you don't get enough of the rebel side. And you get a lot of like matter of fact stuff, and I think the battles drag for way too long. Oh um, God, yeah. The battle scenes are by far my least favorite parts of the book. Um, none of they're 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 not written well, but because the characters, I don't particularly care enough for that. Their deaths won't mean a lot to me. Yeah. Um, you know, we 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 go back a bit and we we look at Gaunt's ghost, for example. Like every like despite there's a lot of them in the first book, like, I, I I don't, I'm spooked when they're going down in that creepy STC tunnel and was oh, the yeah. Major Ron is, like, kind of having that tick and you're kind of like, oh, God, what's going to mm -hmm. happen? You know, they, they set this stuff up, but they're just fighting orcs. Yeah. And I, uh, I think... Oh, go ahead. Oh, uh, well, I was going to say, it's just, it's a lot of descriptor. Like, it's just, like, description after... Like, there's no... There's not a ton of character interaction. Like, the only thing from a battle I remember being amused at is uh when the squigs got into the camp and they were trying to find them um, oh yeah and they were buying people and and yeah that yeah, was fun that was that was fun but like any other but that was than fun that, because it was orcs though it wasn't fun because it was krieg it, yeah i know <laughs> uh but yeah it was just like these really long chapter full batter battles and i don't know it just it just didn't do it for me yeah, um, I, I, I think we both agree that the book felt a little too dull. And I think that's actually maybe why there's a lot of Krieg fans who really like it, because we always joke that Imperial Guard fans are over 30 and like to smoke meats, or, or they're yeah. big World War II fans and stuff. And Krieg fans are generally hyper-history nerds. Uh, ah, to, okay. to my To my Krieg fans out there, you know it's true, don't lie. You guys fucking love your World War One, World War Two history. You love it so much. You, you've got. There's no way in hell you don't play one of those side mini games on your own. You are absolutely loading up World of Tanks right now. I, I, I know it. I know it. I know it's happening. War Thunder, etc. I'm aware. I mean, and that's to be fine. Fair if you're a big war World War One fanatic and you like your historical documents, I mean. This kind of checks all the boxes for you as a, as like a creep. Yeah. If those are your interests, this book will absolutely like just it'll be the best thing you've ever read, right? Yeah, that, that that's that's the the whole thing is that they uh they, they just they, this is what they hope for. They got how did Krieg start? What are Kriegsmen like? And they got it in a very classic, dry nature. And I, I think that they could have still gotten the point across while making it more interesting 
Um, one, there needs to be way more development with uh, Colonel Yurin as daughter. Oh, uh, yeah. The fact that she dies off screen, I think, is really aggravating to me. Yeah, I I was shocked that they were just like, oh, yeah, by the way, did you know she died in the infiltration? Yeah, I watched her die. Ha! Ah, and it's like, wait, what? I, I Like, when they first said it, I thought they were joking, and they were just using that as a, t like, I, I was like, oh, she's got to be a POW, and he's just telling Yurton that she's dead to, you know, get a rile out of him, and she's going to escape, she's going to come back, and she's going to, you know, do some shenanigans with her father, and their relationship is going to grow, and then it was like, nope, she's just dead. She's she's dead dead. She died while while infiltrating what's his face's uh uh palace and killing him. Like, and Kraus knew every exit that she would use because Kraus knew that she was a traitor, so he killed her. And it's like oh, like it's it's bizarre because I I kind of get the point they're going for. They're going for like oh he's so zealous to the emperor that even his own daughter is just one other sacrifice, you know. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah. I, it should, I think they could have spent more time either together, having her like still be on his side, but maybe a little bit less insane and trying mm -hmm. to maybe pull him down a little bit and they get into arguments about that or, you know, the the need of sacrificing, you know, that kind of thing like weighs on him yeah. where he starts to double, you know, double like think about is this really the right idea? You know, yeah. like is because I'm going to lose my daughter thing, but they weren't really they didn't know each other very well. Yeah, they really did. So it's a little hard. I, There's a whole I, angle you could have played there that I felt like just oh, didn't yeah. occur. I honestly thought they were going to play up the, like, because when his daughter was like, oh, hey, Yurt and Dad, let me, let me go infiltrate this place. I know it the best. I was stationed there. I was with him. You know, let me go. Like, his first reaction was like, um, is, is this what you told him when you turned on him to come see me? And he was doubtful of her resolve. So I was like, oh shit, they're planting these seeds of like, damn, I'm doubting whether my daughter is actually loyal to my cause or if she's here as like a double agent like she was supposed to be and she's just gonna go back to him and give him all this info. I thought that was gonna be this huge plot and it wasn't. It just kind of dipped and- It, it just kind of dipped. Subverted my expectations, Shy, yes. Haha, it subverted your expectations, did it? Mm -hmm. yes, ah, it, ha, did. Ha. it did. Ah. No, I, I, I agree. It, it was a very, very odd angle to take it. And it's also one of, uh, one of the reasons why I think that the Octarius stuff was a, a bit of a mistake on who they fought and who they were with. Like, it's like, okay, so Kriegsmen are the big, crazy, insane, like, we'll all die for the Emperor thing. Mm -hmm. But but Cadians are, are soldiers from birth. Like, they're not a whole lot off. They're just not as grim, dark, and creepy. They're a little bit more like regular World War II soldiers, but they're they're still very much hyper, like born child soldiers, and yeah. having them fight orcs. Like I feel like I feel like you needed to make it not the Cadians. You needed to be like a local militia, because then yeah. you could see like the hyper difference between the two of them, mm -hmm. and then and how just like oh my god, these people are totally fucking insane, and maybe yeah. it shouldn't have been orcs maybe they should have fought like dark eldar or something like you know like or something something a little bit more disgusting as like a parallel mm. to show like how awful the like the dark eldar might be but like the sheer uncaring loss of life the kriegsmen also oh, yeah. deal with like like some kind of yin and yang mm -hmm. but uh yeah, but yeah like fighting orcs there's <laughs> the yeah the kadians get mega upstaged but mega like Cadians are are like the biggest guard regiment out there. They're they're fucking super important. Like some kind of yeah, you know you know what looks like, like a penal legion. Shy makes a good point. A penal legion who only fights because they have to versus the people who fight because they like want to die because they want to. Yeah, could have really could have really shown a nice little bit of that dynamic. But basically, you took a bunch of ten out of ten zealots and you mixed them with a nine out of ten zealots, and it isn't gonna have the same effect. Yeah. And the nine out of ten zealots got fucking dunked on like <laughs> they got dunked on they, no, they really mean, they, they really struggled yeah yeah the, it was I, a little I, unfair I still, actually i feel like they kind of got a bad rap mm -hmm. i still feel like they showed um the cadians desire to like you know we're we're totally willing to sacrifice ourselves for the emperor like they still they still portrayed that pretty well um because there was that meeting in the battle where they were like 
uh, the Krieg general was kind of like, okay, yeah, we're going to fortify this position. And I think, like, one of the Cadian generals was like, are you stupid? You're going to lose, like, half your regiment. And he's like, yeah, but, you know, we're willing to die for the emperor. So, fuck it. We'll do it. Um, so, I, I, I think, you know, that, that still got across. But again, oh, the, oh, Cadians, sure. the Cadians ended up looking real bad. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, I, I like believe... Bitches. I believe the whole part with them, uh, with them gonna die for the emperor and stuff. But I yeah. think it's the problem is that, to you like, if you want to show off how insanely devoted the Kriegsmen are, maybe don't mix them with a regiment that is, like, almost also the same amount. Devoted. Yeah, mix them with something like kind of lower. And it's the reason why. Um, I mean, you know, I you know, Muslim for the Night Lords books, but it's the reason why um, Octavia is an important addition to the first book because she's so mm. massively out of her element you already have the the crazy difference between the space marines and like septimus who's a slave but then yeah. you have the difference between septimus who's massively indoctrinated as a slave and then someone who's a new arrival mm -hmm. so who's also devoted mm. to the emperor and having her break down and become a heretic you know it's like it's a nice that that contrast yeah. yeah that contrast yeah. it's it's important mm -hmm. and i think i think it loses a bit of that uh also yeah. like Orcs are great. I love orcs. They're fun. To, they're always fun to see fighting. But I, I don't know. I feel like maybe they needed some kind of like, hey, look, look in the mirror kind of enemy. Some, like something a little more dastardly. Yeah. Chaos yeah. wouldn't have been bad. Some creepy chaos cultists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, like with the orcs, it's like if you have the orcs, you've got to focus some time on how goofy, crazy, wild they are. And uh, they kind of the squigs helped. Didn't. But <clears throat> yeah, the squigs definitely helped. But other than that, it's like, oh, yeah, they're fighting orcs. I kind of forgot. And it's like, oh, man, but they're orcs. Orcs are hilarious. Like, yeah. orcs are a great way to bring some levity into a uh, an otherwise grim, dark situation. So, I mean, granted, they right. they wrote Kriegsman pretty well. Yeah, uh, if you're a Krieg there's... fan and you want to see the Krieg shine, <laughs> here you go. There's another book, apparently, called uh, Dead Men Walking or oh, Dead yeah, Men Walking. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's apparently another Krieg novel as well. And uh, apparently it's a bit stronger um, when it comes mm. to the actual Kriegsman type stuff. But I feel like they got the personality across pretty well in this one. I I, oh, I liked, despite him being a crazy man, I thought Colonel Yernan was, was easily the best character. He was very, oh, he's yeah. very interesting and very good. And he had uh, just just that frightening demeanor about him. Yeah, when whenever Yurton speaks, it's like, okay, <laughs> everybody listen. Um, mm -hmm. he just sort of like commands the room and it's, it, it, it was always good when Yurton was on, uh, on screen. There were a lot of times when they'd go back to like present time, like, man, get back to Yurton. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't care how they're doing against the orcs. They're struggling. They're dying. Okay. Krieg being Krieg. Let's get back to Yurti. Let's get back to Yurti. Yeah. I need more Yurti. You, you know what? That would have been a good part if his daughter oh, was yeah. in one of the areas that would have been in the splash damage and he does it anyway. Cause he's just so yeah. insane. Cause it's for the emperor. He needs to. He needs to get back at them. He can't let. Uh, he can't let the traitors have the planet. He, 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 he does whatever he chooses, it takes. Yeah, yeah. He chooses the Imperium over family. Like he's that. He's that mm -hmm. insane. And it shows that level of of like dedication to the emperor that the Kriegsmen have. That would have been all right. Yeah, cause he was he was struggling with doing it. Like he didn't really want to do it. Even his aide was like, "Look, Kraus, you you guys gotta." You guys gotta, you guys gotta step back. The motherfucker's crazy. I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm not scared of what you're gonna do. I'm scared of what you are gonna force him to do. Um, so yeah, if if his daughter had been in the splash zone for the bombing, that would have been really interesting. And if he had to like grapple with that and struggle with that, yeah, I mean yeah. he grappled a he grappled a little bit. He, but I, I don't know. For, I mean he wasn't way, way back in the day when we first did um, the Krieg uh, episode. My my immediate mindset was that image of uh, Doctor Robotnik pushing the button really ex excitedly. <laughs> yeah, you know, with Jim Carrey, and he's <laughs> yeah, just yeah, just yeah. like oh, the easy push. And I, I imagine he just was nuking people for the hell of it. But I'm glad that he grappled with it at least a little bit. Yeah. He, there, there but, was definitely uh, some turmoil with uh, actually pushing the button. There, there, there needed to be a bit more for me to, like, I, I, I almost wish they, I almost wish the Kriegsmen were like the villains. I, I actually, oh. I, I, I'd, I'd like a story where you play as, I don't know, 
maybe some Eldar or just like a like a random planet that that seceded or something. Just just I, I, I was like a Tau. Tau's not bad either. Yeah, Tau would work. Um, Necrons. Nah, Necrons are too strong. I, I need I need someone to to literally stare in like the gas mask of the Kriegsmen and like make them like fucking horror horror villains. Tau, you know, yeah. I think Tau like, yeah, Tau. Yeah. Like, or like 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 a Tau like Tau civilians under siege or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, just Ooh, that kind of idea yeah. because because they're just they're so evil, Kriegsmen. Yeah, they're not and as they, like they, um, torturous and gory. Too. Oh, they look awful. They look fucking they, horrifying. They are absolutely horror villain fodder. That would be super interesting from a Tau point of view, like being on the other end of just like the Imperium invading and them sending the Death Corps after you. I mean, they Especially look... with their riders and their horses with the masks too. Oof. I mean, do you remember the old Killzone games? Oh, yeah, they had those sort of masked soldiers, didn't they? They 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 literally did, and if I'm not mistaken, I think they were also German. Uh, if I'm yeah, because they, I got the they got the gas masks and the big red fucking eyes, and they and their helmets look more like World War II helmets. But yeah, like oh, Killzone, that... like it's pretty similar. It's shockingly similar. The man, those covers always made me want to play the Killzone games because I just thought those whatever those troopers are looked so fucking cool. I never did play Killzone, but yeah, they they were called the Hellgast. Or Hellgast, I think, because, you know. Because subtlety. Because subtlety. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, Shy, fair enough. Um, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I Killzone games, they were fine. They were a little generic. Yeah. They were fine. Oh, that's a shame. They have such I, cool covers, though. They 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 reminded me a lot of uh, the early 2010s, et cetera, area of, like, gray shooters. Um, oh. They're dang. not bad, but they... they they didn't Generic. really sell me. They didn't really yeah. sell me too much, no. Dime a dozen Hillzone, shooter. Hillzone 2 was fun, though. Okay. Um, But, uh, yeah, they, they remind me a lot of that. And they were they were the villains in those games, the Hellgast. Mm -hmm. And so having that kind of group as the villains, like I, I feel like that, that's, that's a bit of a missed opportunity. Really just having them get their ass kicked by the Krieg or, or having the Krieg be the main... You know, you see like the, the way they march. They obviously march in the very classic way and when the and they how disciplined they are and just the bright fucking gas mass all of them just unflinching staring at you it's Oof. fucking creepy yeah that that would be very creepy yeah agreed and it, it adds i think it adds more to it i i, I feel mm. bad because the writing of the book isn't bad the writing oh, of the yeah. book is is perfectly fine it's just it's not too interesting like the like the the play-by-play -play yeah. writing is fine Mm -hmm. but the overarching it, 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 story yeah it's a it's a well-written book like nothing against steve lyon's writing ability because it's it's fine it's just yeah it just comes across as more of a historical document than really um sort of a the entertaining read that i kind of thought it would be though there were there were a few um twists and turns that were pretty interesting and that you know were not known before so it still well, had some, but yeah, it felt mostly kind of. It, it, well, it was a little I mean, flat for me. We know that we now know a confirmation that the Kriegsmen absolutely do use fucking um like, like, uh, rebirthing vats or whatever the hell they're called. Yeah, uh, uh vitae wombs. V yes, those things. They absolutely use those in order to repopulate themselves, mm -hmm. which is, they are which is a little gross. Babies. Yeah, yeah. But I for, I forget. Did they is the DNA they used for the the test tube babies? Was it from Yurden? Um, I don't know that they specifically said. Actually, thinking back on it, I don't. I think they just said like because all Greel said was like, "Oh yeah, uh, Yurton on his deathbed, like an hour before he died, he was like, "Yeah, go ahead, do the Vitae wombs. Our future and our children are the most important thing." And then after. That, I'm not sure they specifically say. Like, I kind of just thought that they just used Krieg DNA and just put it in this Vitae womb and just <laughs> grew a new Kriegsman. Um, I, 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 I don't know if I just didn't read it right or I wasn't paying attention, but I don't think I don't, they I don't remember. That. I don't remember that myself because I, I thought I remember the... Um... 
the whole like the 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 troopers after there's like a thought process that the trooper is afterwards they never gave their name right um uh no i don't i don't think so the, in the octarius uh world yeah and i thought that there was something that to go along with the line that like all troopers are named like yurton because they're all fucking from the yurton thing oh from the, right right but but i guess that would be kind of dumb because then they couldn't really do tactics would they just be they Although... just be a, a number thinking back on it wasn't there a part where van buren wanted the kriegsman to take their masks off because he was like oh i, I i'm i'm an inquisitor i need all the facts i need to see what you guys look like and did they ever specifically say what the kriegsman look like no not in the modern day i don't believe because i don't think they ever took off their masks did they i could have sworn they took them off for van buren and van buren was like oh i see and thinking to the VT woman, I'm like, maybe they look the same. Maybe, maybe they were, like, identical because they're basically all just clones. test tube babies. They're just clones. So maybe they looked identical, and he was like, uh-oh, that's a little that, heretical. That, that, so. that, that, might, that, might not be, that might not be the wrong, uh, wrong way. I don't, I don't, I don't quite remember. Because I know Van Bruen's stuff I, was some of the more dull stuff, in my opinion. I, yeah. I did not find him very interesting at all. Yeah. Same for uh, yeah, because he was an inquisitor too. Like you would have think he would have been like all kinds of nuts, and he was just kind of, he was there. He he's suspicious of of the, what they're doing because they're fucking weirdos. Yeah, yeah. I Which mean, he comes around at the end. Fair. He's like, oh hey hey, like uh, listen, recording before I die, please. Cr the Krieg, they're great. Although I. <laughs> It seemed like towards the end of the book, they were going for that Jesus motif a little too hard with the Krieg, where it's like, oh, the Krieg have taken on all of our sins so that we can be great. So let us not ask these difficult questions about what Krieg is, lest we don't want to see the errors that are in, that are in ourselves. And it's like, whoa, okay. I think you're going a little it, it, was, it was a little, a, a little preachy, I yeah. won't lie. A little yeah, bit. It was, it was very preachy, and I was like, mm, I mean, they're not that uh, great, dude. Like, you just, mm. Listen, I, I can tell you, full stop, Kriegsmen die like any other guardsman on the tabletop. <laughs> More yeah. willingly, though, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess a, l a little yeah. bit. More happily. I, I think, More if happily. I'm not mistaken, they don't take like any morale tests because they can't run away because they're so, you know. Of course not. They shouldn't. How dare you? They're very special away? people. Never. Yeah. Never. Impossible. Yep. The, um, that's, that's, uh, it's bizarreness though. Despite, despite it all, because the, yeah, the, the, the Jesus motif is one way to put it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's certainly one way to put it, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they all look the same, that kind of thing, I, like, I get the whole, like, all right, the Kriegsmen are obviously here. They want to help the, you know, but obviously Ordo Hereticus and all those guys are very, very, hyper focused down on everything they can find and oh, so yeah. any heretical options on why they're doing what they're doing is certainly something they want to be they want to be worried about yeah yeah um, i can see but, why the ordo hereticus would keep a close eye on the krieg yeah i i don't like i want to put on record that i don't like this gif of garfield's in the in the, in the suits <laughs> i don't, I don't well, like this i mean that might krieg. be the krieg that it might be might the krieg be the krieg they might all just look the same uh, and that's With why they identical. never take off their mask, because who cares? We all look the same. We're clones, yeah. sir. We're meant to be expendable. Yeah, one of us, one of us. Google gobble, right? Is that? That's, that's, right. I don't think that's the appropriate. Oh, quote, I don't know about the. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyway, the Krieg. So huh? anyway, Krieg, yes. Uh, Krieg. Yeah, I mean, you know what? That's that's the hard part when you do book club slash review sometimes there's gonna be ones you don't like and you gotta try to be nice while also explaining that you don't like it yeah. um not really krieg book was not really my thing i think it was it was too dull the octarius stuff in particular really didn't add a whole lot um yeah. yurton was good uh was the great. the yeah. the play-by-play -play writing was fine but the overall character development and uh and all that kind of stuff i think was 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 a bit lacking and yeah. i'm curious to see how dead men walking stands up to this book and mm -hmm. if anyone in in the comments has read both do do share your opinion on it mm -hmm. i i have heard that dead men walking is the superior krieg book 
Um, I've, I mean, online, I've seen some pretty mixed reactions to the Krieg book. There are people that like it, and there are people that really don't like it. Um, for the most part, I, I, I sort of share Bricky's, uh, opinion about it a little on the dry side. Um, there are a few kind of cool reveals. We get a little more details about how Krieg became Krieg, and uh, I, I did kind of like the aftermath of the bombing of both places and how people are sort of coping with the fact that, uh-oh, uh, this place is going to be irradiated and nigh unlivable for a long time. Um, but, yeah, a little, little, little dry, um, dragged on in a lot of the battles, and yeah... Wasn't, yeah. wasn't a big fan. Wasn't a big fan. Well written, but, you know. Not, yeah, not, yeah, play, not, play is fine, but uh, here, here, here we are. Here, um, here we are. Here we are. We're, we're very sorry, viewers who were really excited to hear us sing the praises. It was not, not our big thing. Um, but, you know, we are very dumb. That's true. My brain does not have many wrinkles. So maybe maybe this book was just too intellectual for me. It slid right off. Too yep. smooth. Too smooth. Too smooth. Uh, also, just because we don't like a book doesn't mean you can't like a book. We're, our, our opinion is not the end-all, be-all. If this is literally your favorite literary work that has ever existed, this shouldn't diminish that. It can still be your favorite. That's totally fine. It's just not are for we, me. Are we, being, are we being too kind? Should we, should, we, should we grow some backbone and say, yeah, we don't like this book? Sucks. Well, that's what we just did for the last, like, 38 <clears throat> minutes. You're right. We were like, hey, we don't like this book. You can like it. We don't. GG's. No, DK. We need to be angrier. Oh, shit. Well, it's too early in the morning to be that angry. It is too early in the morning, and I need drink water. Yeah, you've got COVID. It's too early in the goddamn morning. Whatever. Um, Whatever. Uh, we, so, but new, new book. We have to talk about our next book. Ah, yeah. It's going to be... I I, I really hope I'm not disappointed in the next one, because the next one... What's it going to be, Bricky? Uh, uh, it is going to be Gazkul Thraka, Prophet of the Wa by Nate Crowley. Let's go, dude. I'm who, hyped for I'm, another workbook. Who, if I'm not mistaken, is the, yes, the Twice Dead King writer. I am so hyped for it. Uh, I am do we extremely know who's, hyped. Do we know who narrates it on Audible? Oh, good question. I don't know who does. Because if it's an orc book, well, he's going to be getting a lot of discits. Right? Right? You know, that, that, you know. That's that's true. And, and see the, the strength of who might do You know what? I'm going to look it up on Audible. Yes. I want I, I want to know who's... Because, you know, uh, I, 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 I have to listen to my stuff on Audible. We're not sponsored by them or anything, but we should be. Um, uh, narrated by Kelly Houghton, Paul Putner, and John Rand. I oh. am not familiar with any of these people. So oh, cool. here we go. Good luck to yeah. us. Hey, uh, yeah. I actually, Good luck. I actually have an idea of what book I'd like to read after uh, this one as well. So it has some Ooh. good timing. No spoilers, right? You know, right. No spoilers. The book is not too long. Seven and a half hours only. Nice clean and succinct and we will uh we will get going there soon oh is that your book that's seven hours or is gaskell seven hours gaskell's a seven and a half hours oh, okay cool 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 oh yeah that'll be that'll be nice and yeah 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 cool cool, cool. nice and smooth La like our brains yeah, last couple of bics have been bix books uh have been you know nine seven cool yeah nice yeah, yeah that's good all right i think um i need to, i need to take medication yeah yeah briggy needs rest medication and less covid and i need breakfast so bye shy needs therapy oh god yeah